హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు కొంచెం అకాడమీ ఆర్ వెంకన్న ఇంగ్లీష్ గురు ఫ్రెండ్స్ వీఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ డీలింగ్ విత్ జూనియర్ లెక్చరర్స్ డిగ్రీ లెక్చరర్స్ ఆర్ పాలిటిక్ లెక్చరర్స్ అండ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ విత్ రిగార్డ్ టు పేపర్ టూ అండ్ ఇన్ రిలేషన్ టు దాట్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ నాట్ డిస్కస్డ్ ఎనీథింగ్ విత్ రిగార్డ్ టు ఈఎల్టీ సో ఫార్ యాజ్ అ పార్ట్ యాజ్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఫర్ జేఎల్ ఆర్ డిఎల్ ఆర్ పిఎల్ 25 ఫైవ్ టు థర్టీ మార్క్స్ ఆర్ మెయిన్లీ అలాటెడ్ ఫర్ అవర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ ఓకే ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ టు థర్టీ బిట్స్ నాట్ ఫర్ మార్క్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ టు థర్టీ బిట్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ సమ్టైమ్స్ థర్టీ ప్లస్ సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెన్ యూ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ టీచింగ్ దెర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ చాప్టర్స్ యాజ్ యూఆర్ ఆల్ యూ ఆర్ ఆల్ అవేర్ విత్ రిగార్డ్ టు ఆర్ట్ సిలబస్ దెర్ ఆర్ ట్వంటీ 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 టూ టెక్స్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చాప్టర్స్ అండ్ సమ్ ఇన్ సమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్స్ విత్ రిగార్డ్ టు అవర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ so when you talk about our junior lecturers with regard to english language teaching with regard to our english language teaching and the present syllabus that that we are talking about both whether it can be andhra pradesh or whether it can be telangana state this syllabus actually designed and for 2013 politic polytechnic lecturers examination the kind of style maybe there are 3 to 5 a text that are different or 2 to 3 critical concepts are different okay there are 2 to 3 important concepts are different but with regard to elt and everything is same so when you re- with regard to english language teaching out of 150 there are 30 to 35 bits minimum 28 to 30 30 plus bits out of 150 which means 50 to 60 marks per elt so i want to give you and uh, in this video and what at first first thing is what what is the style of asking questions so what are the bits because most of you guys who are attending and who appear for this examination are going to be tgts or post graduate teachers or school assistants or edgts already you have got some kind of some background with regard to english language teaching as a part of you are uh, as a part of becoming school assistant english as a part of becoming tgt english as a part of becoming or post graduate teacher in english across different stages whether it can be ap or telangana so are you going to answer for example when you look at uh, these questions whether you are able to answer these or not so what kind of uh, so what is the level of asking questions and what are the what is the style of asking questions that's what i am planning to uh, give you one particular analysis of 2013 polytechnic lecturers question paper i'll be talking about all but you you will have some kind of background some kind of uh, because today uh, if you really want to be a junior lecturer or a degree lecturer what is very important everybody reads history of english literature everybody answers everybody will answer texts and the writers and all but the two there are two important important factors that change and uh, your fate one is going to be criticism critical concepts and second one is going to be english language teaching so based on criticism there are nearly 20 plus and based on elt there will be 30 to 35 bits so this 20 to 30 nearly 50 bits uh, 100 marks which will change the fit whether you are going to be selected for junior lecturer or degree lecturer or whether you are going to be or you are not to be in the list so the major important drawbacks important strengths are going to be these two one is criticism and second one is going to be english language teaching so friends in this video because so far we have discussed a lot with regard to english literature okay but uh, before we go into and before we begin with elt first let me, uh, my intention is to give you some basic idea so and uh, try to look at so my intention is going to be to give you some some idea with regard to so once you look at this so we'll be looking into 2013 polytechnic lecturers question paper so out of 150 so it was actually conducted as a part of our integrated andhra pradesh both 
for Telangana AP as you are all aware. So, see, and this includes nearly 150 and on every topic I will be analyzing. Don't worry about it. But my major intention is, so, uh, friends, and before we go into this, let me show you the syllabus actually. You are all aware, the syllabus. Syllabus for uh, our... Uh, our examination so there will be five chapters see there will be five chapters see friends there will be five chapters English language teaching so I'm not going to talk about the other areas only ELT so this is the same syllabus this is the same syllabus if you are preparing for if you are preparing for Telangana junior lecturers or degree lecturers, whether it can be general junior lecturers or degree lecturers or Gurukula junior lecturers or degree lecturers of English. This will be the same syllabus of ELT. If you go for AP junior lecturers or AP politing lecturer, AP degree college lecturers examination. Same five chapters, my friends. See, so ELT in India, history of ELT and English as a second language, English as a global language, English as a foreign language. And methods and approaches of teaching English, grammar translation method, direct method, audio lingual method, structural approach, communicative language teaching, and teaching of language skills. So, how do you teach listening, speaking, reading, writing skills? And how do you teach vocabulary, functional English, classroom techniques, use of authentic materials, and teaching literature? How do you teach literature? Testing and evaluation. What is testing and evaluation? What are the principles? What are the types of evaluation? Types of testing, objectives of testing, evaluation, phonetics and phonology, and syntax and structure. So, phonetics, phonology, syntax. So, these are the five chapters, my friends. Out of these five chapters, because 2013, same bits. So, if you want to have a lot of exposure to this, what are the question papers that are available today? 2013, uh, Polytechnic Lecturers, 2017, APDL. 2018 AP JL DL PL total six six question papers and Telangana 2016-2017 Gurukula Junior Lecturers 2018 Gurukula and Degree Lecturers and 2018 Gurukula Junior, Lec Junior Lecturers 2018 Gurukula Degree Lecturers total you will have 10 papers these are available online in different websites authentic sources so I am going to talk about the first one, the first, the first, actually I thought of talking about the latest one, but it would be better if we talk about the beginning. That's what my idea. So 2013, based on these five chapters, in 2013, Polytechnic Lecturer's Question Paper, how many bits were given? On every topic, what are the bits that you can talk about C? That's what I'm planning to give you some idea see my friends so my focus is going to be 2013 polytechnic lecturers ELT based on these five chapters see my friends so there are 150 bits as you are all aware so there will be 150 bits my friends see 150 bits but I'll be talking about only ELT see so so ELT, once you see, this is going to be the beginning from 36 till 36 and uh, you see, yeah, so here you can see 36, 37th bit onwards and from 37 to you see, 37 to how many and uh, you will be able to get some idea, yeah. 37 to 61 friends you see so out of 36 out of uh, 30 out of 61 36 are from and you see from uh, English literature and 25 25 bits are from ELT so out of this 25 so let me tell you how we, we got these bits. So first one is going to be in early 20th century. 
in early 20th century english was taught in india through in early 20th century english what english was taught through literature english through literature it is actually this is with regard to unit 1 history of elt so how english was taught before independence after independence and see english through literature theater language lab and films so in early 20th century english was taught in india through english was taught through literature what is english language through literature language through literature which became so popular in india in 1890 and very very popular before getting independence so that's in elt structural linguistics uses the method of method dash structural linguistics cognitive linguistics psycholinguistics mentalist okay psycholinguistics social linguistics so what is structural linguistics structural linguistics is considered to be the first beginning linguistics and during our early stages so in elt structural linguistics uses the method of problem solving drills and exercises analysis meaning make, making so it believes in drills and exercises friends remember so it gives a lot of priority for drills and exercises structural linguistics believes in the principles of behavioristic psychology so this is connected with behaviorism behaviorism plus linguistics is equal to structural linguistics and behavioristic psychology plus structural linguistics is equal to structural approach structural language teaching about approaches and methods and is call refers to call refers to com- and computer assisted this is not s yes, only just c a l l so computer assisted language learning this is also about approaches and methods dash became a part of elt paradigm around 1945 in 1945 dash became so popular in in india so language lab cell phone literature ipads friends i'll be talking about 1945 1939 to 1944 this is considered to be world war 2 during world war 2 a number of american experts created a new method and approach called audio lingual method audio lingual method audio listening lingual that is used with the tongue so these two so the concept of language lab language lab so they created a new invention called language lab this language lab became an important part of uh, language teaching in particular english language teaching because they created this language lab in the process of learning english in the process of learning german french russian through english so they used they created language lab so first approach oral approach next structure next audio lingual next structural so before structural and audio lingual method language lab is an important part of and 19 audio lingual method audio lingual approach most essential skill so this is with regard to approaches and methods next 41 most essential skill in the context of elt in india it is most what is the most important essential skill today using correct tone intonation and correct accent good reading comprehension critical thinking so most essential skill in the context of elt in india reading comprehension friends see so one of the most important skills to be learned starting from getting independence from starting from 1947 is are the learners able to read and comprehend the text this is going to be a very very important skill to be acquired by every learner at different stages so good reading comprehension due to great ethnic and linguistic diversity in india english is used as dash language so this is about unit 1 so history of elt english is a global language foreign language or first language second language due to the great ethnic and linguistic diversity in india english is used as and link language so answer is going to be english is a lingua franca according to indian education commission according to professor vk gokak according to professor and ds kutare and according to a number according to np 1986 according to new education policy 2020 english is considered a link language lingua franca even today after getting 75 years because in india you see english is not a language which is not your mother tongue not my mother tongue but we come together and we speak to each other this is called link language remember friends the, and that is with regard to unit 1 friends the grammar translation method emphasized on 
a grammar translation method. It's about the oldest method which was so popular from 1850 to 1900. Speaking and listening, no. Reading and writing, yes. Answer is two. So grammar translation method gives a lot of importance on reading and writing skills. So about methods. Basic thing, my friends. So even a beard student will answer these questions. Next, the characteristic feature of grammar translation method is focus on learning. Language in context, rules of grammar, grammar in context, communication through translation. So answer is and rules of grammar. So what is very important according to grammar translation method? So not language in context use, no. Rules of grammar, only learners will be able to learn a lot of rules of grammar. But sometimes they do not know how to use them in their practical life. Grammar in context, no. Grammar in context refers to the process of using grammar according to different social cultural context, no. Communication, there is no word for communication. So answer is going to be rules of grammar. In audiolingual approach to ELT, dash is put before ever writing. So in audiolingual method, what is very important? Writing, reading and comprehension and speaking. What is very important? Speaking is very important. How do the learners will be able to, how are the learners able to speak before they write? Next, Skinnet's behaviorism. Again, this is also about unit two. Skinnet's behaviorism theory assumed that a human being can be trained to learn a language using a system of reinforcement, stimulus and reinforcement. Okay, Skinner, BF Skinner gives a lot of importance to reinforcement, SR theory, stimulus and reinforcement. A student of BF will be able to answer this question easily. Chomsky's study of syntax is based on, Chomsky talks about a lot of ideas about at the syntax and all. So the question is based on, Chomsky's study of syntax is based on deep and surface structure and language and parole, competence and performance, none of the above. Here we need to understand language and parole. This is actually discussed by Ferdinand de Saussure, not Chomsky. Deep and surface, surface level structures, which is also discussed by Chomsky. Competence and performance. According to Chomsky, Chomsky's study of syntax is based on competence and performance. So what is competence? What is performance? And these are the commonly repeated bits as far as ELT is concerned and at the level of JL or DL or PL or NET or SET examination. So you need to know some basic concepts. What is langba? What is peril? What is competence? What is performance? What are deep level structures? What are surface level structures? Who talks about all this? And what is the contribution of Chomsky? Ferdinand is assured. Basic knowledge that, you, that is required to qualify and to get through examinations like uh, JL or DL or PL or set or net my friends remember next friends you see the direct method of teaching as its roots in so direct method what is direct method what are the principles of direct method cognitive approach behavioristic approach constructivism task based language teaching so direct method was so popular direct method was actually popularized by Henry Sweet Otto Jespersen and Robert Lado and Frank H sharp. These are the writers, these are the linguists who popularized the concept of direct method or approach in 19th century during the early 20th century. It was so popular from 1900 to 1950. So it is connected by the time what kind of uh, psychology was available only behavioristic approach. So answer two. So the audiolingual method is otherwise called, it is also called army method because it was created by the American linguists in the process of Second World War, army method. So we can also say audiolingual method, army method. Friends, communicative language teaching believes in CLT, which became so popular in 1960s and 70s and by opposing structural language teaching or structural approach. And this believes in Immersion, rote learning, group work, reinforcement. Reinforcement, structural approach. Immersion, no. Rote learning and what? Structural approach. Your answer is group work. Learning happens best when learners are involved in paid groups. Learn, learning happens best when learners are involved in paid groups. Learning happens best when learners do something. So when do they do? When they involve in different activities. So, what kind of 
tasks are, can be provided paid works group works and simulated games project works so all that so answer is group work fluency fluency can be taught by friends you see fluency can be taught by next analyzing errors no you should not analyze errors ignoring errors yes pointing at mistakes encouraging errors answer ignoring errors because nobody is able to acquire a language perfectly learning language is a continuous process from womb to tomb according to a number of writers like chomsky canales swain keith morrow widdowson wilkins jacobovitz hennes prabhu saraswati noonan so all these are the important writers who talks about they talk about what language learning happens best when you go on ignoring the mistakes ignoring the errors that learners make because learning happens best in course of time so that's speed reading is associated with so how do you this is about unit 3 how do you improve speed reading in learners so faster eye movements fewer eye or movements or sub vocalization reading every word when you read every word only accuracy no fluency fewer eye eye movements no sub vocalization making murmuring buzzing sounds while for example moving lips moving vocal cords that is sub vocalization very technical word this is a bad reading habits so the correct answer is going to be faster eye movements learner should only move their eyes when they read that is going to be the best technique and argumentative writing cannot be taught by topics like so this is also about unit 3 how do you teach writing argumentative writing minimum wages for men and women argument the ideal age to start voting argument types of mountains in the himalayan range descriptive so answer is going to be 3 c and the benefits of television viewing positive negative argument so option 1 to 1 to 4 argumentative writings so writing can be categorized broadly into four descriptive narrative argumentative and persuasive so this three which is not next see according to the strong communicative method grammar has to be so as a teacher what kind of method that you are going to use taught in the classroom reinforced as often as possible learned subconsciously drilled in the classroom so according to the strong communicative method taught in the classroom reinforced as often as possible learned subconsciously so according to according to strong communicative method grammar has to be learned subconsciously you should not teach directly rules are not to be exposed not to be taught in the learners taught taught in the classroom no so they are to be taught but not to be indicated directly consciously task based language teaching believes that language learned best when form is important meaning is important both form and meaning are important neither form or meaning are very important so task based language teaching gives importance to both form and meaning form is best learned when learners attention is on meaning the idea for the first time and narrated to the world given by the popular expert from india ns prabhu a very popular important expert and who created an extension of communicative language teaching by producing it a syllabus called the bangalore project or the procedural syllabus so form is both form and meaning are important according to task based dynamic assessment dynamic changes assessment believes that we should assess again and again we should assess after feedback assessment should be a surprise none of them as we should assess again and again assessment should be a continuous process dynamic assessment about unit 5 unit 4 next a good test should have unit 4 evaluation should have validity and reliability both both validity and reliability next friends washback effect effect in testing implies that a good test should impact learning so a good test should influence learning if it is not going to influence there is not going to be a good test so you can say use of authentic material again this is about unit 3 use of authentic material is primarily used in grammar translation situational context based no communicative language teaching and authentic material this is actually in and produced by communicative approach authentic material was first coined by vj cook in 1975 
any material that is not intended intended for teaching and learning is called authentic 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 material can be an id card a postcard or a dd or a challan a biscuit cover or a soap cover so all these are employed by the teacher in the classroom or newspaper clipping a television and or a menu card so all that next michael west formulated his reading method in so where india michael west was a school inspector of east uh, east bengal and assam west bengal and assam you see in 1907 to 1937 who advocated a popular method called the reading method dr west method in india and the story of test should have both validity and reliability so friends you see so how you are going to have bits based on elt so when you talk about elt and how you will be able to get through i'll be talking about all not just one or two we'll be talking about plenty of question papers we'll be discussing but for time being i'm just i gave you this idea of uh, i gave you just idea of this in order to give you some basic knowledge so so that you will get some idea so that you continue what are the bits that are easier what are the bits that are not easier so based on that you can plan for it okay this is what i wanted to talk about in this we'll talk we'll give you and some more uh, ideas based on uh, an elt in junior lecturers or degree lecturers and little further see you guys